Hi guys, Jeff Allen off the gridiron, and uh, I'm here with a new, new to me kayak. And uh, well, let's have a look at my problem. Basically, there's no seat webbing left. So I've never woven a seat before. Uh, what I'm trying to do is kind of have a get an idea of where the strings go, where the remaining strings go and see if I can, um, well, we <laughs> reweave a new seat. Um, never done it before. Not sure what uh, cordage I'll use. I don't think I have enough paracord for this job, but uh, we'll see what happens. Stick around. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the Green Iron. Okay, from what I can tell, the holes across the back, they go straight across, over, under, over, under, back and forth to the far side. So to clean this up a bit so I can see, I'm going to fold back all the ones that go in that pattern and try to make sense of where all the diagonal strings go. So I figured the easiest way to, rather than stand on my head was to undo those wing nuts and take the seat right out but uh, they were frozen right in, rusted right in so I had to just wiggle them back and forth till they snap right out and I'll probably end up drilling new holes to mount them. Now that it's out, I can actually work on it and see the underside. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of comforted that there is a different start and stop points around the outside, which indicate obviously it wasn't done when, with one big strand, which is reassuring, but uh, still at a loss for, for a pattern. Maybe I'll start at this front corner. And follow it, follow it around. Let's, let's get the rest of this string out and then we can go from there. Okay, so we've got the, the seat all de de-threaded or de-roped or whatever. Yeah, we're going to clean it up a little bit with some sandpaper. But what I'm trying to do now is on each of the corners, um, you can see where the previous string or twine was double backed on itself, uh, stapled, and some heat put to it. And uh, with over the years, those are a little bit, those are a little bit rusty and, and buried in. So we're going to clean those corners up, give it a sand, and then we'll start threading. So I'm just taking these small pairs of side cutters and pulling out these these staples, and that will free up all this old old string and provide room for new ones. Some of them are breaking off as I pull them out so I'm going to try to, uh, if I can't get them out I'm going to try to just set them down inside with a nail set. I'm just going to back up some of our garbage. We've got a old rusty hammer. We're going to pound in uh, all these, uh, the remnants of the staples all around the outside. I'm going to take some sandpaper and scuff up uh, the entire thing. This is uh, some 150 sandpaper. So 
So we're going to take a minute and uh, scuff that up all around the outside. And uh, too bad I didn't have a coat, of, a coat of spray here to cover that up. But uh, that'll be alright. We can waterproof it right over top, right over top of the, the string and twine at a later time. And we just want to worry about function right now over the actual looks and appearance of it. Let me get this sanded up and I'll uh, show you where we're at. Okay, all I have is some uh, leveling string. I'm not sure what to call it. It's like a heavy, kind of a heavy, heavy braid, lots of strength to it. But uh, it's a little thinner than what came out of there. So but we're going to start, uh, start in one spot and try to follow the lines as best we can and literally just see what happens. Here we go. Try to pull through and keep it oriented which side is the top and uh, we're going to start it in a similar fashion as before. Uh, I think we're going to try to staple it in and uh, start weaving it from there. bring it back to the, the back side here and I'm gonna just tie a big figure eight Okay, here's going to be the start point. I'm going to pull off many, many feet or yards of this string. Hope there's no knots or tangles. We're going to burn the end. That'll keep both ends from fraying. Alright. Let's see what happens. sure where I go from here. <clears throat> it made sense to go around the outside but it felt like there was missing missing a hole here so I've just started going across ways and cross over the same number of holes the far side and I'm going to hope that that's uh, what I was supposed to do. So.
makes sense to me now that uh, I'm gonna. I, everything's not lining up in terms of equal lines around the outside, so I've just started to go back and follow some of these grade markings. And every time I do, I'm just doing an over over under pattern, opposite to the one before. And I think that might uh, give it some residual strength. And I don't know. Again, I'm just trying to do something that makes makes sense to me. I've never done this before, so. some sort of natural pattern and see uh, see what happens I'm sure there's a YouTube tutorial on this but I'm not one for trying to uh, watch YouTube before I do something. I usually just dive right in and see what happens. Ironically, I'm making a video just the opposite for you guys. But... Oh. couple of weird angles in here but hopefully when the strings go crossways I can pull that pull that straight. I think I'm gonna to have to splice a new piece in here. That's pretty good seeing how the first one that the original looked like uh, about four different pieces. Adam's caught up to me here somewhere. Oh dear. <clears throat> well, sure enough, I had to splice in an extra piece, but I tried to measure it so it would drop either on the bottom or right inside one of the holes. So, so you won't be 
seen. Tension issues here. It's not perfect, but I think it's going to be functional. I think I got, I got so far into it and I, from wherever I started, I had to, on purpose, skip a hole and uh, right away that was cause for irregularity in the, in the pattern, but So I've come to the section now where I'm going to try to go back and forth this way and really strengthen it up. It doesn't look terrible. Hopefully it pulls some of those irregular shapes back in line. So here we go. Okay, now that I'm approaching completion, I am just uh, going to weave it back through a few of these spots to see if I can pull it in, into a more pleasing position. Some of these lines are a little, little little place. So I'm just going to try to for example this one this spot here I'm going to just try to pull it up and then run it through that corner so it, it just realigns these a little better. I'm going to pull that tight and put a couple of staples. And there you go, we'll just burn off the extra. I'm going to put another nail staple in there, that will not go in very good. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. well, that's how we finished it off. Right there. Okay, there we have it. There's our new woven seat. Not perfect, but uh, perfect, perfect enough. And uh, we'll get that mounted back in the kayak and go give it a paddle. Okay, since some of these uh, studs uh, they were mounted through this piece of wood that's been fiberglassed in here, so they're upside down, but they're both broke off. So what I'm going to try to do is take a screw and put it down beside the old one, hopefully not splitting wood. Well, there you go, guys. Brand new 
woven seat uh, again it's a uh, functional over form and uh, I think that'll that'll last quite some time uh, this kayak was stored outdoors for the by the previous owner and uh, I think the cotton wrapped uh, webbing that was uh, existing on here it was uh, it was found and used uh, by <laughs> various critters as a nest I think uh, it was all chewed up and rotten out but this is uh, Kind of polypropylene nylon uh, kind of polyester webbing I think that'll last for the life of the kayak the uh, wing nuts that held the seat in place they snapped off they were drilled up from the bottom so what I did was using the existing holes I just went down through the top uh, with three of the four uh, with wood screws and that will hold it in place well that's uh, that's about the end of it for today guys thanks for watching if you've enjoyed today's video don't forget to check some of these videos up top and if you haven't done so already down below like subscribe and share and welcome to off the grid iron enjoy your outdoors bye for now